of the game and everything if that's what you're interested in. Then you have the badges tab, and the badges tab is, uh, oh, did I miss that? Oh yeah, I did, because I just stopped playing, but that's okay. But, um, the badges tab shows, uh, all the badges you can get to the game, in the game, or it doesn't really show all the badges you, you can get. Well, it shows a lot of them you can get, but it shows all the badges you have, and, uh, you earn badges by doing a lot of different things, whether it is uh, reading plaques, uh, going to certain places, uh, completing certain missions, doing certain task forces. Um, you can get player versus player ones, although they're not very interesting. You can get some for you can get some for day jobs, Wentworths, Ouroboros, just all these different things. I know that I, to people who don't know what I'm talking about, I, I was speaking a bunch of gibberish, but. There's a, a ton of badges in the game, like, I think just over a thousand now, so, it, there's quite a few badges. Then we go to the right here, this is, uh, your health bar, really, your health and experience bar. Uh, it shows, if you click on it, you can see the exact amount of health you have, and you can see the experience that you have, but since this guy is level 50, you can't gain any more experience because that's a max level. And if you click on any of these four things, it closes the window in which uh, it uh, pertains to. So you can close the tray, you can close the target, you can cro close the navigation menu, and then if you then you have the regular menu, which gives you access to everything that these already give you access to. The, there isn't a lot you can do with the menu that you can't already do um, with these uh, four things. Uh, besides like looking at your hero ID or your personal info or maybe changing your chat handle so everybody has a global name and you can change it uh, occasionally but uh, you, you, you want to try to pick a global name that uh, you like really so like mine is at Elpreet go figure and uh, there's a whole bunch of interesting ones out there but uh, yeah just be sure to be happy with your global name because it will stick with you and then in the bottom right here, I guess I forgot to uh, go over this. This is like your powers. This is all the powers. This is where you place all your powers to use them. But you can you can change where this is. Like I can change it so it's right in the middle of my screen. But no, I do not want it in the middle right there. And uh, if you hit this powers thing, you can see all the powers that you have access to. And you can put it. You can put as many powers as will fit on this bar. Plus you can add. You see that. I, once I click that, I can add another bar. Oops, I don't want to do that. I can add another bar, and maybe I'll, I'll put it right here or something. But I don't really want this other bar. I'm going to close that tray. And then the next one up, we have inspirations. Inspirations are like temporary boosts to your power, whether it be damage, a damage one, which is this red one. Uh, the yellow ones increase accuracy. The blue ones uh, give you a quick burst of endurance. Endurance is like your mana for the game, yeah, endurance equals mana. Uh, there's ones to increase your health, there's ones to resurrect you if you die, which is this one, this light blue one. Uh, there are ones that increase defense, there are ones that increase resistance. Uh, defense and resistance are two different things. Defense makes it so you get hit less, but resistance makes it so if you get hit, you get hit for less. So. Can, can, can be kind of confusing, but it makes a lot of sense. And um, uh, there's this uh, light purple one, which makes it so if you get mesmerized or if you get like stunned or something, that something that makes it so you, e you either can't move or can't attack, this will help you get out of it. This uh, break free, as uh, people like to call it. And um, then you have the enhancements bar, which are enhancements are things that you place into your powers that make them better pretty much. They're like, enhancements are like the equivalent of equipment. Then you have the salvage thing. The salvage is things you use to create and to create things, I guess, depending on uh, what you like to get into, whether you're a base maker or you just like making IOs. But I will be getting into IOs in a much, much different video. But uh, just, yeah, you gain salvage in the game. And then recipes are things that salvage creates, pretty much. Or the vast majority of salvage creates recipes in IOs, Invention Origins. And IOs are like, are a type of enhancement 
but we'll, we'll be going over IOs in also a different video. Anyways, uh, just basic stuff. Spacebar is jump, you use WSAD to uh, move around. We haven't been doing a lot of move, moving around, but uh, yeah, we can do that. We can jump around a little bit. But um, there really isn't too much else to go over uh, besides uh, once you get certain attack powers and everything, just use them on the enemy. And well, I'm 35, 36 levels higher than these guys, so of course they're gonna die. Uh, for powers that it says it's a toggle, so like this fire shield, it says toggle. If you hit it, then it'll always stay on. You see how there's this circle thing going around my fire shield? So, it'll always stay on as long as I have endurance. But once I run out of endurance, it will, to it will toggle off, and uh, it will turn off until I have the endurance to uh, turn it back on again. So, uh... Not too much else to go over as far as this video goes. I hope it was informative. I hope it was in good quality. So, anyways, that's been let's this. Uh, that's been this let's play of City of Heroes. Like I said, I apologize for such a late um, another uh, such a late edition. It's been a pretty busy uh, month and a half, I guess. I had to get back. Had to get get back with friends. Had to. Uh, do some stuff, been looking for a job, not very uh, successfully, but uh, that's okay. Um, got into the StarCraft 2 beta, played a lot of that, been playing a lot of Heroes of New Earth, so I've been distracted by other games too, which I apologize, it's, a, it's my fault, I get distracted easily sometimes. But, I will be putting some more stuff up. So, anyways, that's been Let's Play City of Heroes, this is Elfried, thanks for watching.